Dude, this is so beautiful. What is going on, you guys? Welcome to another episode. <laughs> we're in my backyard right now. Those are the chicks. Um, we're heading out into the mountains to do a little bit of fishing and camping. Now, it's been way too long since we've had an episode. Things have been really busy right here around the homestead. I'll show you guys what's been going on. Yes, the chickens are brand new. I got them uh, maybe about a month ago. Now, these little chicks here, when I first got them, were absolutely tiny, little itty bitty fluffy baby chicks. They had just hatched a couple days prior. <laughs> All right, just hand that over to them. Yep. Sweet. Kyle, you're nice the man. You. <laughs> nice oh. meeting you too, yeah. and uh, thank you for helping. Yeah, I know, no, I know. She's so curious. She's so curious. Oh my goodness, but she's being a really good girl. She's being a really good girl. I know, Kyle. I know. I know. Look at both the dogs. They're both so curious. There's your new little home for a while. Here's your food, little guys. There's your food. Oh, they found it. <laughs> now they're about a month old, so they've still got a long ways to grow. Uh, they're not laying any eggs yet. But uh, yeah, these are the newest members of the family. I've been really busy around my house. That's why we haven't had any videos here lately. It's been way too long, so I'm super excited to get out into the mountains with you. Uh, let me show you around the garden real quick. We'll take like one minute to see what I've been doing here. Here, let's go find your friends. Come on. All right, let's go find your friends. Here they are. There we go. Everyone's reunited. Here's a project I'm working on. I've been building a retainer wall. It's not done yet, but I need a shed for some more storage. And I have been building a vegetable garden over here. Look at all of this. On Instagram, I asked you guys what you want me to grow. So besides the obvious like peppers and tomatoes, this is a beautiful tomato plant right here. Um, you guys told me to grow some onions because we will need those for our catching cooks. We're growing corn right here. We've got a bunch of potatoes. I'm gonna try and grow five gallon bucket potatoes. You can see they're actually, they're actually starting to grow. Right over here, we've got radishes. Look at that baby down there. Ooh, yes, a baby radish. Carrots right here, not doing too good. We got some kale over here, some chard, and then this guy is arugula. And right here we got lemongrass as well. You guys told me on Instagram to grow some lemongrass, so we're doing it. It's the NWFS farm. Hey, get back in there. Okay, that's not gonna be easy. Come here. <laughs> hey, get back. On the, oh, oh, oh my goodness, this is a disaster. All right, back in the box, back in the box. Where did your friend go? Don't worry, don't worry. I know this is an Amazon box, but we're not shipping you to Jeff Bezos, I promise. All right, these little girls are going back in their coop. Then we're gonna get our gear together, jump in the truck, and get up in the mountains. I think we're ready to go. This is the first trip that we're doing together. Back in the mountains, baby. We're gonna try and catch some fish, trout, who knows, maybe look for some crawdads, eat whatever we catch. So we got into the mountains. Uh, the sun has pretty much already set. It's getting uh, a little bit late. But the goal now is just gonna be to find a camping spot. Maybe do a little bit of fishing still. 
this evening see if we can maybe catch some dinner if not i'm not worried about it we'll probably do the bulk of the fishing tomorrow but check this out i just found a really nice spot um kind of feel like we might need to do a couple casts man it's a little cold <laughs> it's really cold out here dude the river is raging there's a lot of water in this river, a lot of snow melt off. I'm still seeing snow up in the mountains, but the weather now is beautiful. So we're gonna spend just all summer out here in the mountains again. You guys have been asking for it. I've been waiting for it. Oh man, what do you think? Should we make a couple of casts? What, one little cast, maybe two. So this river here, we're not allowed to fish bait uh, or treble hooks or anything. So we got this bullet lure right here, fresh off the press with a clipped off, uh, like just a single single hook. Just something about this area here, if it's the trees or the moss or something that grows here, it just has a very distinct smell. It's like, just smells amazing out here in the woods. <laughs> Hopefully we need the net, <laughs> that'd be really nice. What I'm thinking is we sneak over here behind these trees that way the fish can't see us but we're still oh man there's a big old log right here oh that's gonna be a challenge to you know no we're not gonna be able to cast from right there i'll leave the net with you let me if i catch a fish and i ask for the net you better pass it to me <laughs> all right here you go first cast with the bullet lure man the water is just wild a lot of turbulence not sure if the fish like that it's not too bad. It's not too bad. A trout shouldn't mind. That was beautiful right here. Jeez. All right, let's cast right into that violent water. Let it sink just a little. Maybe we'll cast down this way. More into the tail out of this. That's gonna be a little easier to fish. There we go, there we go. Oh, was that, oh, I don't know. Was that a follow, follow? Oh man, I saw a little little shadow right there. Oh man. Come on, let's do this again. Oh, oh no, that was just the lure catching in the current. Oh, <laughs> that felt really good. Okay, right here, right here. Oh, oh, there was a little trout that snapped at it. Little guy, just a little guy. <laughs> all right, all right, come on. Man, I'm getting too excited. It's been too long, it's been too long. But right up next to that rock it seems kind of like a good spot oh oh i thought i heard something behind me i thought there was a bear but then i felt a tug but i think it was just the water <laughs> oh man okay this might be weird but what if we just try and fish this little pool right here i really doubt any like trout would hang out here but you never know. Nothing. Just want to get it in that hole right over there. Oh my goodness. I don't think anything's in here. Not in that pool there. Yeah, the trout, they, they like a little more action. They want more oxygen in the water, some motion. They don't want this still water next to them. All right, last cast here. All right, no more follows, no bites. It's all right, we're only at spot number one. We ain't in no rush, no rush at all. I'm just happy to finally be out here. Let me know in the comments if you guys wanna see more videos out here in the mountains now that, now that the snow is gone. Man, it actually probably was gone two weeks ago. Well, almost tripped. Um, but it's just the weather's been so bad, man. It's been really, really nasty in Washington. I want to say in Washington, we had like the wettest, second wettest May ever recorded and June is not far behind. It rained. I think we've had two sunny days in June so far, which is absolutely crazy. <laughs> All right. 
we move on. All right, let's go ahead and find a campsite. I'm really excited. Find a good spot, start up a little fire, and then we'll cook up a little bit of food. I'm pretty hungry, I haven't really eaten anything yet today. We have arrived in absolute heaven out here. Just look around, nothing out here but us and this beautiful, beautiful lake here. It's actually a large river that uh, floods in the winter and the spring. We're gonna head up that way and see if we can't find a nice campsite. Oh, this is epic. I can't wait to find a spot and make a fire. Beautiful. I think there's a there's a nice campsite right here. Let's check this baby out. Oh man, that view though. Oh man, I think we have arrived. Man, look at the sun going down back there behind the mountains. It's definitely getting a little bit chilly. Nice little fire pit right here. We'll clean that baby up. <laughs> this is it. This is the spot. We're spending the night here. So I'd say let's go ahead, relax tonight, make a fire, eat a little bit of food. And then tomorrow we'll adventure a little bit more. But man, dude, come on. Look at that. What we're going to do tonight is sleep in the back of the truck. These seats here fold up nicely. Oh, got to get the backpack out. It ain't the camper van, but uh, oh, I miss you camper van. I can't wait to take her out again. And then we use this guy here. <laughs> An old school, old school thermo rest. <laughs> uh, awesome. We'll let that start uh, filling up with air. But all these little branches should make a really good fire starter. All of this stuff up here in the trees hanging there, it's called lichen. Uh, what it is, is it's a symbiotic uh, product of fungus and algae. Really cool stuff. This is nice and nice and dry up here too, since it hasn't been laying on the ground. Oh yeah. I should make a nice fire starter. Pull out the old, the old flint and steel. A little piece of char cloth right there. Come on, baby, let's do this. Get that char cloth in there.
Oh, yes. All right. Okay, get that baby right down here. Okay, come on, come on. You gotta sit down the GoPro. Okay. Oh, don't wanna have this go out. It's a disaster. Total panic, chaos. We got the fire started though. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Hot. <laughs> All right. Ooh, man, that feels good. Ooh, it's definitely blowing this way though. <laughs> and the old flint and steel did it once again. Oh man, that feels good. We have a mountain house. Uh, chicken teriyaki is what's for dinner tonight. Oh, look at that. Looking delicious in there. Pour in a little bit of hot water. Mm. Ooh, that's gonna be good. All I gotta do is seal this up. There we go. Ooh, hot. <laughs> it's like a hot potato. <laughs> Dang. Oh, it's really hot. We're just gonna let that chill right there. There's just birds chirping around everywhere. It's just magical out here. I think we can start taking a peek here. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh, sorry guys, it's, it's getting dark. I can already see it's getting really dark. My apologies, but you know what? I ain't worried about it. Here you go. This bite's for you. Oh, dude. <laughs> That's so good. Oh yeah, some peas, some peppers, some some carrots, some delicious pieces of chicken. Do you want a little bite, Mr. Frog? You're more than welcome to. No? All right. All right, fine, we'll have it. Good morning. <laughs> that was a good night's sleep, actually. Really nice. Didn't get too cold. I think it's time to make a little bit of coffee. But I'm gonna chill here for another minute. Just two more minutes. Ah. All right. Oh, fine. Fine. It's time to get up. Oh my goodness. Oh crap. <laughs> oh, stop. <laughs> Oops. Sorry, squirrels and bears. Everyone's awake now. Oh man. 
What a view. Later this summer, we're gonna head up to a lake that's right at the base of this mountain. We're gonna backpack up there, solo backpack and sleep in the mountains. Make sure, of course, if you guys want to be subscribed to see all of those episodes, feel free to, you don't have to, of course. Now let's see if the wind itself can, can make this fire. <laughs> Just wind power. I didn't even have to blow on it. <laughs> That's, oh man, that just made my morning. I forgot the coffee. I didn't, I, oh, I didn't bring coffee along. Now I'm awake. We don't need no coffee. A cup of coffee would have been nice though. Whew, look at that view though. Man. Oh. We've got, uh, oh man, a little bit of uh, eggs and some bacon with us. And the wind is just absolutely relentless here this morning. There's a lot of uh, little dandelions growing here everywhere. Look at these guys. Dandelion is actually an amazing plant you can eat. Uh, pretty much the entire thing. Some people even make like tea out of the roots or something. These little flowers are perfect. We're gonna add those as kind of a wild veggie. Look at that. Nature's uh, little veggies here, some mountain veggies that we're gonna add to our meal. the drone for right now. Uh, that's what happens when I didn't have my coffee. Little egg, little dandelion, big piece of bacon. Now it is a little bit sunny out. And unfortunately I forgot to bring my sunglasses, but luckily we have the old trusty in the truck still. We'd fixed her once in the mountains. So we're just gonna, we'll make them work. Always wrap a little bit of duct tape around your lighter. That way you always have a little roll of duct tape with you to fix things. I'm just gonna take off. Not bad. This much should do the trick. I learned from the last repair job that we need to build in a little more structural integrity into this whole thing. I want these to last this time. Ooh, yeah. Good as new. Ah, perfect. I think it's time to do some fishing though. <laughs> That's enough goofing off at camp. Let's go explore the river a little bit and catch a fish.
over here at the river, there should be a nice fishing hole. All right, we're gonna just pack down there. Oh yeah, fly pole, let's do this. We can't forget the uh, bear protection either. All right, we are ready to go. <laughs> let's do this, let's catch a fish. <laughs> wow, all the huckleberry bushes are out here. Can't wait till later in the summer. It's gonna be full of berries in this area too, and mushrooms. Oh, that's gonna be tasty. Hopefully there's a nice deep hole over here. Ooh, look at that, man. I don't even wanna like, this is a good hole. We're gonna make sure not to spook the fish if there's any in there. Oh man, I'm seeing some shadows. I think it's just like the waves, something teasing me. No, I, okay, I thought there were some monster fish, but those would have to be like salmon. There's a little rock right down there, I think where we can, where we can go. I think what we're gonna do is start out with the fly pole. Definitely a must. I gotta get better at this. Man, it has been a while since I've been uh, fly fishing. I'm actually really excited here. Well, okay, now, we, we, true, we were fly fishing in Yellowstone, but with an actual fly pole, that, that's been a, a long time. Definitely takes some learning. There's a learning curve to fly fishing for sure. So for the fly, we're gonna pick one out of this little box. One of you sent that to the P.O. Box. Thank you so much. Uh, really to everyone to, that does send just awesome homemade things. We'll be featuring some of them on the channel. Ooh, ooh, man, look at that little guy. That one means business. That's a beautiful, beautiful fly. Wow. It's a sinking one. Is that called a nymph? And we are gonna use uh, in this spot here a small uh, indicator bobber, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> there you go, it just attaches to the line, and now you can adjust how deep uh, this guy is gonna fish. Is it about one and a half yards? We're gonna climb down there and try and not spook the fish. All right, nice and sneaky. Nice and sneaky, no sudden movements. All right, let's just make a little, just a little cast right there. And this will be good, we can practice our roll casts. Man, how do you do a proper roll cast? Is it kind of like a, there we go, there we go, oh yeah. Now that little guy's out there. Come on, baby. Oh, I don't know, was that a fish or what just happened? It kind of went down and I felt something. Oh my goodness. How, how is this even possible? <laughs> I mean, I couldn't tie a knot like this if I tried. All right, let's maybe go just a little bit deeper. There we go. Maybe we need to get down to the fish because they might be hanging low because the water's kind of high. So they're probably hiding down there. All right, <laughs> nothing on the fly yet, but Let's see if they take the bullet lure. I've got a good feeling about this. Oof. Man, one thing is for sure, and that is we're gonna have so much more control over casting. All right, there we go. It is so turbulent here, super wild. I'm gonna try and send her, there, bounce the rock. Fish that tail out there a little bit. Man, nothing. 
Okay, let's try some other spots. Definitely check this spot out. Man, a nice cold seltzer water. Ah, awesome. All right, we're back at this spot here. There can't not be any fish at this spot. I think. They're just a little shy yesterday, and uh, I think they might bite the fly. All right, let's try and fish this hole from above. Wow, dude, this is so beautiful. All right, maybe from here, we're pretty deep now. We're probably like five, five and a half feet deep. Hopefully we don't get snagged up on the bottom. There we go. Into the wild stuff. That'll just take us down there a bit. All right, now we're on the scene. There we go, there we go. Surprise, it's right in the sun. I can't really see the bobber. <laughs> oh man. man. It's actually harder to fish from this spot than I thought. We're probably gonna go down there again. All right, here we got a little bit of space to uh, stand and cast as well. Oh, is that? Oh, that was a stick. <laughs> it was a stick. Felt good though. It felt really good. Oh, oh, the trout just came up to hit the bobber. Oh, wow. I Man, I doubt that you guys could see that, but that little sucker came right up to the bobber. Oh, yeah, a little deeper out there. Oh, oh, oh I was down, but that might have been the current. Not sure. Not oh, bobber down. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, that was exciting. Missed him though. Oh, a little one just rose to the surface. Okay, there's some there's some small trout here. Hopefully there are big brothers there too. Oh yeah, that's that's a good one. Good drift, good drift. Right at the seam. Come on. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh man, nothing. How did they not go for that? Wow. Come on, baby. Oh, that's a bite. Oh, we missed him. Dang it. Oh, there we go. Fish on, baby. <laughs> Got him. <laughs> Ooh, we got a strong fighter down there. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. He's just a little guy. Just a little guy. Come here. Come here, buddy. Right. Yeah, in the net. All right. Wet our hand before we handle him. We're going to release this little guy. It looks like a uh, juvenile rainbow trout. Hooked right in the lip. Ready to go? <laughs> yeah, baby, we did it. We did it. We finally got one. Slowly getting the hang of it. I think that's something like fishing rivers like that. If you're still newer to fly fishing, maybe using a little bobber on there. It really does help out a bit. It makes the casting a little bit easier uh, as well, I think. Look at this spot here. Check this out. <laughs> oh, 
Oh man. Dude, we should have come here and fished. Look at this. Super deep hole right there. This would be a nice camping spot too, but that is all for this episode. That's all I got for you guys. I gotta get out of here, running out of time, but we'll come back here for sure, fish some more. Hopefully we can catch some brook trout, maybe a bigger rainbow and uh, cook them up and do a catch and cook. But we'll be out here. I think I'm just gonna come out here again in a few days. So that'll be probably the next episode or we're gonna go on a backpacking trip. Either way, make sure that you guys are subscribed. If you are not already, leave a comment. You know I love reading them and uh, hit that like button, it helps a ton. I love you guys and we will see all you guys very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on baby. All right, fine, I won't leave you in the mountains. You can come along too.